Our Kelpie head is going to be a quick hourglass shaped head with a couple of nostrils in it and some safety eyes. Easy peasy, right? We're going to do a chain two and then six SC in the second chain from the hook. Okay, six stitches. We're going to pull that tight. We're working in continuous rounds, so we're not going to slip stitch into this first stitch. We're just going to work our first stitch of round two right into it. And round two is an increase in each round or in each stitch around. So there's one increase, two increases, three increases. Four increases, five increases, and six increases. All right. Round three is an SC and an increase done six times. So there's our SC and an increase. That's once. An SC and an increase. That's twice. And an SC and an increase. That's six times. Round four is two SCs and an increase six times. There's one, two, and an increase. That's once. One, two, and an increase. That's twice. One, two, and an increase. That's six times. Round five, same thing, only this time it's three SE and an increase. So one, two, three SEs and an increase. That's once. One, two, three and an increase that's twice one two three and an increase that's six times all right now we're going to put our nostrils in the end of our nose here so we're going to do nine sc's one two three Four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Then we're going to work four DCs in this next stitch. So there's one DC, two DCs, three DCs, and four DCs. All right, we're going to work nine stitches again, so nine SCs again, sorry. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. And then we're going to work four DCs in this next stitch. So there's one DC. Two DCs, three DCs, four DCs, and then ten SCs to get back to our starting stitch. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight nine and ten all right so it's gonna look kind of goofy right now just with these two kind of bumps the next round we're going to close up the bumps so that they turn into like concave holes so you'll see what we're talking about so we're gonna do nine SC three four five 
five, six, seven, eight, nine, and we are back to our 4DC bump. So we're going to SC four together. So you're gonna go into that first stitch and pull up a loop, go into that second stitch, pull up a loop, go into that third stitch, pull up a loop, go into that fourth stitch and pull up a loop, yarn over and pull through all five loops on your hook. That's going to turn those four stitches back into one stitch like they used to be. And when you stick your finger in it, it becomes a hole. So we're going to do nine SCs. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. And then we're going to do that again on this bump. So insert through the first stitch and drop a loop. Insert through the second stitch and drop a loop. Insert through the third stitch and drop a loop. And insert through the fourth stitch and drop a loop. Yarn over and pull through all five loops on the hook. And we have our concave nostril there. So we'll do 10 SCs to get back to our starting point. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. So we finished round seven and we have our nostrils put in, but now we need to make sure that the rest of our work is bending with the right side out. So here you can see with our nostrils pushed in and our work right side out, we get these nice nose holes. You can see our snout coming together. Doesn't that even just look like a snout already? I love it. So rounds eight and nine are SC evenly around 30 stitches. So just do two rounds of even SCs for rounds eight and nine, and I'll meet you back here at the beginning of round 10. At the beginning of round 10, we have 30 stitches around. We're getting a little farther away from our nostrils. We need to start doing decreases. So we're going to do three SCs and a decrease six times. So there's three SCs and a decrease. three SCs and a decrease and three SCs and a decrease that's six all right then we're gonna work 11 through 14 even again so 11 12 13 and 14 even so do four rounds of even SCs, and I will see you back here at the beginning of round 15. At the beginning of round 15, we're going to start doing our face shaping, and what that's going to do is his face is going to angle up more and give him some rounder cheeks, and you'll see how that's going to work here. We're going to work 11 SCs, so that's two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and then an increase. Then we're going to work four SCs, one, two, three, four, and then an increase. And then we're going to work seven SCs to get us back to where we're supposed to be. Two, three, four, five, six, and seven. All right now, round 16, we're going to do five SCs one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 
three, four, five, and then do four increases in a row. And this is where his cheeks are gonna puff out. So here's one increase, two increases, three increases, and four increases. Then 12 stitches even. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, and then do four increases again. There's one increase. Two increases, three increases, and four increases, and one SC to get us back to our starting stitch. So next we're going to do 16 SCs, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, and sixteen, then an increase. Then six SCs, one, two, three, four, five, and six, and an increase, and then ten stitches to get us back to our starting stitch, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. And what this is all going to do is going to make his shaping come up on the sides of his face and around his cheeks and give him a nice flat nose, nice and flat with no increases. And the reason I did that is because I had horses growing up and I loved petting their nose because they always had this nice flat place on their nose. So I wanted him to have that nice flat place so I could pet him. So we're doing increases a little differently just so that we have a nice flat space between his nose, between his eyes to pet. So round 18, we're gonna keep going, is 17 stitches. One, two, three, four, five, 14, 15, 16, and 17, and an increase, then six stitches, one, two, three, four, five, six, and an increase, and then 11 stitches. I know these face increases feel a little off and strange, but if you just count your stitches and pay attention, you'll be just fine. At the end of round 18, we need to do 19, 20, 21, and 22 worked even. So work four rounds even. Make sure you're counting your stitches so you end up right back in the same place. I will see you at the beginning of round 23 to insert our safety eyes. At the end of round 22, we have a nice looking head and it's time to put in our safety eyes. I grab my mouse pad because that's how I use. I use my insertion tool and my mouse pad to keep from scratching my safety eyes. And I painted some pretty cool glitter safety eyes for this guy. 
and we need to place these between rounds 17 and 18. So those are going to be our last increase rounds. So here's our increases. So it's between these two rounds with eight stitches apart. So I'm pretty sure, let's see here, they're going to be even in line with the nostrils. So let's just count here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Let's see what that looks like. looks pretty good. I think I like them there, don't you? So we have our eyes in. Now we're going to use our cool insertion tool and put those in. Here's my washer box. And I'll pull this over. You put your back on and then use your cool handy dandy insertion tool and pop it back on there. And I didn't even have to break my nails. Okay, do the other one. And those are back and super on there. All right. Now we need to keep going and do some decreases. So round 23 is another decrease round, but we're just going to do two decreases on the bottom here that are nice and hidden on his chin so that we can get to 36 stitches around because we're at 38 right now. And once we get to 36 stitches, then we can um, decrease a lot more evenly. So for round 23, you're just going to do two single crochets so that we can get to the middle and then do two decreases. And that's going to give him his little chin, chin hole and then work 32 stitches around. Two, three, four, 30. 31 and 32. Okay. Round 24 is going to be four SCs and a decrease six times. So we're going to work one, two, three, four SCs and a decrease. And one, two, three, four SCs, and a decrease. All right. At this point, I'm going to go ahead and stuff my head, I think. So when we're stuffing, we want to make sure we hold our nose holes or our nostrils closed because you don't want to push them out the wrong way. You want to make sure they stay turned in. So you're going to want to stuff nice and firm in between your nostrils and underneath them but make sure that they stay tucked in and the head doesn't have to be stuffed super mega tight like some of the other parts it'll hold its shape pretty well without being stuffed super tight so I'm not going to put a ton of stuffing in since we still have some more decrease rounds to go, but that at least gives us our general shape. Okay, alrighty, onward. Round 25 is three SCs and a decrease six times. So one, two, three, and a decrease. That's once. And one, two, three, and a decrease. That's six times. Do it again for round 26. This time with two, D two SCs and a decrease. So that's once. And one, two SCs and a decrease, that's six times. All right, next time around, one SC and a decrease six times. So once, there's one SC and a decrease, that's twice. One SC and a decrease, that's three times. 
one to SC and a decrease. That's four times one SC and a decrease. That's five times and one SC and a decrease. That's six times. So we only have one set of decreases left. So I'm going to pull a little tail out and add a little extra stuffing. So this is back of their head is nice and round. We're all stuffed and we have one more round of decreases to do before we can close. So we just are going to do six decreases around. There's one. Tuck in our stuffing as we go here. There's two. There's three. There's four. There's five. And six decreases. So I'll pull that out. Cut that off and we are going to leave this tail on here. So let's. All right, so let's thread our needle. And we're going to come up through the front loops of all six stitches that are left. Two, three, four, five, and six. Pull tight. And we have our nice little bind off that we like. All right, we're going to leave the tail on this guy because we're going to use this tail to attach the head to the neck. Onward to the next piece. To make our Kelpie eyebrows, we're going to make a quick chain six. So one, two, three, four, five, six, and then SC into the second chain from the hook. Then three SC, so one, two, three and then slip stitch into this last chain. And that's just going to make it bend over the way this side is bent over. So we're gonna just pull that tight, grab our scissors, and we have our eyebrow ready to attach. Make one more just like it and we can put it on our head. To make our ears, we're going to start with our white again and chain two. We're going to do six SEs in the second chain from the hook. One, two, three, four, five, and six. There's our six stitches. Pull that tight. And since we're working in the round, or we're working in continuous rounds, we're not going to slip stitch into this first stitch, we're just going to start working right into it. Round two is SC evenly around. So one, two, three, four, five, and six. And this is going to start our ear off nice and pointy. Alright. Next, we're going to do three sets of increases that are one SC and an increase. So there's once, one SC and an increase, that's twice, and one SC and an increase, that's three times. 
All right, we're gonna do another set of increases. This one, this time two SCs and an increase three times. So one, two, and an increase. One, two, and an increase. And last time, one, two, and an increase. All right, round five is SC evenly around again. We're at 12 stitches now, so we just need to make 12 stitches. One, two, three, 10, 11, and 12. All right, round six is another set of increases, this time three SCs and an increase three times. So there's our three SCs and an increase, that's once. One, two, three SCs and an increase, that's twice. One, two, three SCs and an increase, that's three times. Round seven is SC evenly around again. This time we have 15 stitches, so let's count 15 stitches. One, two, three, four, 13, 14, and 15. All right? Now what we're gonna do is a quick decrease, and that is going to be an SC one SC and a decrease five times. So decrease one SC and a decrease one SC and a decrease. That's three times one SC and a decrease. That's four times one SC and decrease, that's five times. And our last round is even again with just 10 stitches this time. So let's tuck that inside tail in there and get out of the way. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Okay, there's our ear. We're gonna slip stitch into the next stitch and pull that tail out so it, to bind it off. Cut yourself a decent sized tail because you're gonna be using it to sh sew on your ear. And then what we're gonna do is squish it flat, but it's in factors of three, so it's going to curve slightly. And then when we attach it to the ear, we're going to pinch the ends like this so that it stays nice and curvy. So make one more ear, and then we can keep going. Surface crocheting our nostril flares on is a lot scarier sounding than it actually is to do, and you'll see. So what we're going to do is find round six. Round six is the one that had the, the four DCs in it, so it's kind of the inside of your nostril here. And we're going to insert that hook. And what we're going to be doing is working in these stitches just right here around our nostril because all we're going to do is create kind of a curve over the top of it to make it stand out a bit more. Grab your slip knot and pull it through your first stitch and then make a slip stitch with that. And we're just going to work around the outside edge here so go into the next stitch and up through the next one, pull up a loop, and then single crochet. Okay, down through that same one you came out of and up through the next one. Grab your yarn, pull up a loop, and single crochet. Again, down through the one you just came up out of, and over to the next one, pull up a loop, and single crochet.
down through the one you just came up from and we're kind of working back down again so around the corner and single crochet and now we're back to round six again so we're going to insert into the next stitch pull up a loop and then slip stitch that one okay cut yourself off enough of a tail that you can weave that end in and let's kind of pull these out of the way here you can see once you weave those ends in you're going to have a nostril that has a flare to it now so here's no flare and here's a flare attaching our eyebrows is very simple we've threaded our longest tail of the eyebrow through a needle and what we're going to do is starting at this side of the safety eye we're going to work as close to the safety eye as we can get and we're going to go over three stitches above it so we're going to i want one two three stitches and then one two down right here so starting over here we're going to thread through and then through the eyebrow we're going to work through the back side of the chains so here's your finished stitches and then on the other side is the chains we're going to work through the chains and attach our eyebrow to the uh, to the face with the chain side. Okay, we're going to go up through over the next stitch and up through the next chain. Down through the stitch we just came out of, over and up through the next stitch. Up through the chain. All right, so there's our three stitches up. Now we need to do three stitches down to the inside. So there's one up through the next chain, down through the one we just came out of, and down, and then up through the very last chain, the very end of the eyebrow. Right there. Okay, so go back down through our ending stitch and come back one stitch behind it, and that will tie off that end piece really nicely there. So once you weave in these ends, you can see you've got a nice eyebrow with a nice arch and a little bit of an angry eye because these are Kelpies after all. They're supposed to look a little tough. So do the next eyebrow the same way. You're going to go three stitches over and two down over this eye and then and weave in all your ends and we'll be ready to attach ears. For our ears, I went ahead and marked where we're going to put them. And this is between rounds 23 and 24. And these are six stitches apart in line with the eyes. And I find that if you line them up with the inside of the eyes they end up being right at six stitches apart pretty much every time so I've threaded my needle with the tail of my ear and the first thing I'm gonna do is press it flat so my tail end is on an end and through the opposite end of the ear I'm gonna thread my needle so that that pinch is closed see how that works and what we're gonna do is so these two stitches to round 23 and these two stitches or three stitches to round 24. So this needs to be the middle of our ear and we're coming at it from this side with this ear. So I'm going to go one stitch over and come up right here. Now we can take our pin out. Okay, go up through the ear. Come down through the stitch we just came out of and over one. And come up through the ear, see where that is. 
then down through this stitch and we're going to go backwards a row and up through the ear down through the stitch we just came out of and over one and up through the ear down through the stitch we just came out of and over one and up through the ear and then down through that stitch one more time and I'm going to come back up through our starting stitch there's some blue showing there from where I bound off that eyebrow and we have our ear tied on so now we just have to bind that guy off so repeat that on the other side with the front two stitches on this round and then the back three stitches on this round with the insides of your ears lined up with your eyes and they are going to stand very straight up and remember that your guys head is going to be at a slight tilt so they are standing very much up if you held them this back they i'm sure they look like a little goofy but with his head tilted down they will be pointed straight up so attach your other ears and we'll be on our way. Our Kelpie's neck is a very simple shape. It's basically just a slowly tapering, elongated, like a, an eggplant shape. And in order to do that, we're just gonna do our chain two and work at six SCs in the second chain from the hook. Like we start so many of our pieces. There's our six stitches. Pull that nice and tight there. And then round two is increase in each stitch around. These are worked in continuous rounds. So we don't slip stitch or join. We just go right into that first one and do one increase, two increases, three increases. Four increases, five increases, and six increases. Round three is SC evenly around, so we're gonna SC 12 stitches. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. Okay, got to make sure that as we're curving our work, it's got the right side, the side facing us on the outside. Round four is an increase round. It's two SCs and an increase four times. Increase. One, two, and an increase. That's twice. One, two, and an increase. That's three times. One, Two and an increase, that's four times. All right? Our next round is an increase round again. This time it's three SCs and an increase four times. So one, two, three SCs and an increase, that's two times. One, two, three SCs, and an increase. That's three times. One, two, three SCs, and an increase. That's four times. Rounds six through eight are just even SC rounds. So do six, seven, and eight in even rounds of 20 stitches so we'll just work SC's evenly 
for three rounds of 20 stitches each. So at the end of round eight, we have what's looking a bit like a cone. And we're going to do another set of increases, this time four SCs and an increase four times. So one, two, three, four, and an increase. One, two, three, four, and an increase. That's twice. One, two, three, four, and an increase. That's three times. And one, two, three, four, and an increase. That's four times. So we're going to do three more rounds worked evenly, this time 24 stitches on each round. So work rounds 10, 11, and 12 on your own, just doing straight SCs. All right, at the end of round 12, our cone is getting bigger. We're going to do another increase round for round 13. That's five SCs and an increase four times. So that's four, five, and an increase. Last time, one, two, three, four, five, and an increase. And next, this time, you're going to do four rounds even. So you're going to go 14, 15, 16, 17 around evenly. So work rounds 14 through 17, that's four rounds this time in SCs with 28 stitches around each, and I will see you back here. Round 18 is six SCs and an increase four times. So you can see we're just slowly getting bigger here. Three, four, five, six, and an increase. That's once, one, two, three, four, five, six, and an increase. That's four times. Okay, rounds 19 through 22, again, four rounds, 19, 20, 21, 22, are as seed evenly around, this time 32 stitches in each round. So do those four rounds. Right, round 23 is another increase round. This time seven SCs and an increase four times. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, and an increase. That's one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and an increase. Okay, rounds 24 through 27 are, e are SE evenly around again. Again, that's another four rounds, 24, 25, 26, 27. And do those four rounds and we have one more increase round to do. Round 28 is our last increase round. So we're going to work eight SCs and an increase four times. Five, six, seven, eight, and an increase. And one last time, one, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, and eight, and an increase. So rounds 29 through 36 are going to be worked evenly. So 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, and 36. 
eight rounds. So work your next eight rounds even, and I will see you at round 37 to start decreasing. So at the end of round 36, we've got a nice tube going, our necks narrow at this end and fat at this end. And we're going to decrease more rapidly than we increased. We increased in increments of only four increases. This time we're going to do eight decreases. And what that's going to do is make the bottom more flat and round so that it can support um, our Kelpie nice and flat. So round 37 is going to be three DCs and a decrease eight times. Two, three, and a decrease. One, two, three, and a decrease. That's twice. And one, two, three, and a decrease. That's eight times. All right, the next round is going to be two DCs and a decrease. So one, two, and a decrease. One, two, and a decrease. And we're back around. Okay, so now is a good time to stuff our neck. So we're gonna go ahead and stuff and pull this loop out so it doesn't get stuck. And this we want to stuff pretty firmly because it's going to be the weight, the support of our head, obviously. So, there, nice and stuffed. So, we're going to close up and then we'll add a little more at the end. So, our second to last round is an SC and then a decrease eight times. So, SC and a decrease, that's one. SC and a decrease, that's two. SC and a decrease, that's eight. All right, so we have 16 stitches left is all. So we're going to work eight decreases and that'll get us down to our last eight stitches. So just eight decreases around, There's one, Two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Okay, now we can bind off. We don't need a super long tail because we're going to weave this one in. So let's bind off and then with our little hole that's left, I'm going to fill in with some extra stuffing to make sure this bottom stays good and firm and flat. Okay, so nice and flat. All right, we're going to weave in our ends. We threaded our, na our needle, and we're going to go up through the front loop of each stitch around. It will close all eight. Okay, and then it closes up into our nice little button that looks a lot like the button on this end. So it's nice because it gives it a more uniform look. So you can tie off and weave in this end. So attaching our head to our neck, you're going to use the attaching round amigurumi parts tutorial on the blog. And what I like to do is to pin my places that I need to mark. So in this case, we're pinning the very center of the neck to the very center of the head, so those line up. And then we're going 10 rounds down either side. 
in a straight line. So when we line up those two pins, we get this nice alignment like this. Okay, so what we need to do next with our pins lined up is mark where the head touches the neck in another color so that we can do these even. Let's see, and here I am. All right, so we're gonna put those two pins together and then let's do some purple ones here for this. All right, and then let's do the same thing on the other side. So just kind of keep holding them together. We'll use our blue pins, line that back up again. Pins in a similar color. Oops, I did a horrible job there, didn't I? Okay. And one more, let's use yellow this time there and right there. So then to check our positioning, we're gonna just take them apart. And look here how, how we're doing. So this I think is a little bit off. I'm gonna move this one down. So the idea is that these look exactly mirrored of each other. So when we put it back together, all our pins line up. And when we line up all our pins, our head is in the position we want it to be. Looks pretty perfect to me. So I've thread the tail from the center of the head into a needle. I really don't need a pin there because it's attached, but I am going to need it here. So starting in the neck right here, I'm going to be working in a straight line from the blue pin to the yellow pin and from where this blue pin was to this yellow pin. All right, and then I'm not gonna pull it super tight because between the pins, you can pull it tight again. So, so this is easier to see. We're going in a straight line from pin to pin, coming, going down through the stitch that we just came up out of and over one. And then the same thing on the other piece, down through the stitch and over one. Always working in a straight line toward the next pin. Over one, over one, over one, and we've gotten to our first pin. Put this here. Over one again, to our other pin. Okay, so then we can pull that tight. Then next, we need to go in a straight line to our green pins. So let's hold our little head here. Coming down through the one we were just working out of. And in a straight line to our next pin. Okay, same thing again. Give that a nice tight pull. And let's do the next one. You're just gonna keep going around just like this. In a line toward each pin. Alrighty, we're all the way to our next pin. Give it a pull. Tighten all those stitches. And then move to the next set of pins. You can see this is just nothing but straight lines between pins and this makes this process a hundred times easier than trying to pin the head onto the neck and then leave it that way while you're trying to work. You'll find that that method feels almost impossible after you've used this method.
Okay, pull that next row tight. And then we go back to our starting point. Okay, I'll get that a good tug. And there we have it. Our head is nice and attached, ready to move on to the next piece.